Shalom Yisrael. Hallelujah. 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 Arise, 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 arise. Praise Yah, praise Yah. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. It is Shabbat. Let us have a quick greet one another right now in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Praise you saints. We uh, I need to be on the lookout for a phone with a cracked screen. Phone with a cracked screen it belongs to a brother Timothy Bennett. How oh, you got it? All right.
All right, shalom, saints. Shalom, 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 shalom. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to have Israel, Israel to come up so we can go through the Ten Commandments and get started. Where is it? There he is. Let him have that mic, McGill. And Elohim spoke all these words, saying, I am Yahweh Elohim, who has brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, out of the house of slavery. You have no other mighty ones against my face. You do not make for yourself a carved image or a likeness of that which is in the heavens above, or which is in the earth beneath, or which is in the waters under the earth. You do not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I am Yahweh Elohim, and a jealous El, visiting the crookedness of the fathers on the children, to the third and fourth of those who hate me, for showing loving commitment to the thousands of those who love me are my commands. You are going to be the name of Yahweh Yolohim to not, for Yahweh does not leave when punished, who brings names to not. Remember the Shabbat, set it apart. Six days you laborers do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yahweh Yolohim, in it you do not do any work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male slave, nor your female slave, nor your cattle, nor your stranger within your gates. When six days I am in heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and the rest of the seventh day, therefore Yah bless the Sabbath day and set it apart. Respect your father and your mother, so that your days are prolonged upon the soil which Yah Yohim has given you. You do not murder, you do not commit adultery, you do not steal, you do not bear false witness against your neighbor, you do not covet any of his house, you do not covet any of his wife, nor his male slave, nor his female slave, nor his ox, nor his donkey, whatsoever belongs to your neighbors. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we bless you. We thank you. We, are, we truly come to you to honor your name. We come to you, Father, though we are not worthy, you have found us favorable, Father, to show up, to be in the midst of your presence, to be among your people, Father, to open up our understanding, to show us that we are the generation that you are raising up. So, Father, we just ask you to strengthen us, strengthen every man, every woman, every child, Father, that we carry this mantle with strength, Father, that we stand before you to minister today, Father, to hear from you. Let your presence be upon us. Let your true word be in our hearts, Father. Let us not go about our own way today, but let us be on the narrow path, Father. Let us be in your sight that you may see us, Father, and know that we are doing those things in which you have commanded us to do, Father. We just ask you, Father, to guard our way against every evil and demonic temptation. Father, everything, Father, is set against us. Father, we do bind up the hand of Satan today. We bind it up on earth as you bind it up in heaven. Father, we lose victory. We lose power. Father, we lose your Holy Spirit on earth as you loose it in heaven. Father, we come to you because we need you, Father. We greatly need you in this hour. Knowing, Father, that you are restoring, Father, we want to do this, that, Father, your name be lifted up high above the earth, that you receive all the glory, Father, all the honor and praise and the esteem that belongs to you. For you are great, you are mighty, Father, you are vast, Father, who can contain you? Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Father, that you have created us to worship you, Father. When all that we do, Father, let us give you honor. We bless you in the mighty name of Jesus, Yahshua. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Yah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Let us meditate on the blood of the Lamb for a bit. Let us meditate. I couldn't do nothing but smile yesterday, Pastor, because you was, right, you was on it. I almost don't need to say nothing today. The blood of the Lamb. I want us to think on that because I'm getting ready to go somewhere with this. See, because I can tell you this. Being covered in the blood, being covered by the Lamb of Yah and the sacrifice that was made. See, when I look at them words up there, Automatically, testimonies come to my mind. 
I was just a few days ago before we got down the straightway. Me and Sister Gabby driving on the highway. All of a sudden, my, my tires on the car start going this way, steering wheel going this way. We're on the highway. And see, you got to understand this. See, when you are really striving for the most high, y'all, you are striving to enter in. You're doing everything that you know that you can do in your power. And you see that the fight becomes strong against you. Then guess what? We got the blood. See, I ain't just saying this. I want you to understand where we're going. We can ready to rejoice. This ain't going to be long more so than it's going to be an opportunity for us to pour out to the most high Yah who keep us covered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. See, I'm, I'm telling you because the Father is so good. I can go back just a few short weeks, maybe a few months before that. I'm driving down the highway. Me, Demori, Gabriel, Remiel, we're driving down the highway. I'm doing 80. I'm doing 80. It's the speed limit 75. So I wasn't doing it in the 60s. I'm, I'm good. All right. <laughs> but I'm speeding down the highway, Brother Ray. Car start wobbling. So I ain't nothing. Stay up. I'm staying 80 because I'm trying to get into the city. I take advantage of that stretch. And I'm going. I'm going, brother. But I get down probably about 30, 35 minutes past where I first started. The car's still shaking. I'm like, Father, I don't know what's going on now. And the Holy Spirit unction me, get off. Get off the highway. I get off the highway and get to the gas station. The tires is leaning like this. I got one lug on the right, on the driver's side, only two on the left. Do y'all hear me? Look, we're talking about the blood. I got testimonies. See, we we got to hear it. We got to hear it. We got to be stared up in the spirit. I'm telling you, I'm trying to get your spirit to be in tune because y'all do things that we cannot do if we abide in them. I watched him move last night on the land. I was out. Everybody else was running around, but I was rejoicing. The Holy Spirit dropped on us right where we were standing last night. Right where we were standing. We was talking. I had came to drop and plant something in somebody that the Father had me to plant it into. I wasn't off. Because I didn't make it up. I was in the dining hall walking. Go talk to him. I went right back outside. <laughs> that ain't the first time it happened to me on this land. Because I abide in his blood. See, I know I need it. I need it, Elder. I need it. I don't know about nobody else. I need that. That's the only way we be renewed, Pastor. That's the only way. That's the only way. You got to know who he is. That's the only way you're going to be able to abide in it. See, your mind, this, this, this transformation and this conversion that happens in the mind, it has to happen at the cost of you absolutely knowing that Yah has called you to this so that we can truly be converted. And then when you pray, when you call upon his name, when you riding down the highway doing 80, the Holy Spirit can unction you, unction you to get off and keep you guarded. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. All right, I want to say Barak all Israel. I want to bless you. I want to bless you. Not in just word, but I want to bless you because Yah has kept each and every one of us to come back here once again, to be in the present. We got breath in our body. All right? Right, I want to, I want to barack you. All right? Truly, we are, we are favored of Yah to have been invited to another holy day of remembrance. Is that true? Is it? Hallelujah. All right, because of the blood of the lamb, we have many powerful testimonies from the giver of life. Let, let, let's do this. I want to see Brother Keith. Brother Keith, I want you to come up here, brother. Where you at? Sister Stacia, I want you to come up here, too. Or oh, Sister Pam. Come up here. I want you to come up here. I want y'all to just stand right there. But this stuff is real. 
You might not see what all that go on. You might not know, but I'm telling you, we're talking about the blood of the lamb. See, that song about the blood would never lose its power. You got to understand, it ain't just a singing. That's real, ain't it, Pastor? That's all I got. That's it. I don't have nothing else. This brother Keith truck. Brother Keith was riding on. Listen to me. Brother Keith could not be standing here right now. But y'all made sure that one, I'm getting his attention. But two, look at the driver's side. Nothing. <laughs> truck rolled over. Ain't nothing happened to brother. You talking about being covered in the blood. <laughs> Preservation. Hallelujah! Jesus! 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 Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus! 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 Oh, hallelujah! Oh, Shamanarobo! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Shamanabosha! Jesus! Oh! Oh, shut up. Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Yahweh. Woo. Woo. Y'all listen to me. Oh, Jesus. Not only did that, but Brother Keith was on the way to work. And y'all preserved him again from sliding down in front of an 18-wheeler. You talking about being covered. See, that's just being under the heads that we don't even understand. I want to stay under that. I want to stay under that same heads that when I was driving home from work and I found out Sister Gabby and my daughter and my, my, my young son went off 10 feet off a bridge. And the same side that... A dyer sit on, usually her car seat lean out where the door was torn off. And when I was riding home, y'all said, be at peace, son. I, was, I had a calm. I got home. My family was preserved. You're talking about the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh! Hallelujah! Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! You can't pay for that. There ain't no cost. There ain't no cost. Be transformed. He died. The Lamb of Yah. Do you recognize the lamb when he come in? Do you recognize the blood when it's covering us? This is the station car. She riding. All, everybody's on the highway riding. Just left the land. Been telling sister station, sister. Y'all want, want, want you to sit still. I need you to sit still. Y'all saying, sit still, sister. I showed up. I got the call. I showed up. You talking about from where this car went from the fast lane all the way down the side of the highway. Knocked a sign over. Station had not one horn. Done to it. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Not one harm done. See, I gotta, you got to ask yourself, am I covered like this? Am I under the blood? Can I get healed? Can I have Yahweh to move on me? Am I going to be able to have Yahweh? Put his hands around me. Where is my hands, Yahweh? Where is my hands, Yahweh? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Y'all see it? You see it? You remember what I said to you that night? I said, do you hear him now? Don't he, he show, he, he kept you 
Just so you remember that he was trying. See, us, we hard here. We hard here. See, it got to take for y'all to get our attention in a major way. I don't want that no more in my life. I want to hear it. I want to hear it right now. I want to be able to hear I want to run to it right now. Oh, hallelujah, Yahweh. You loose your mighty presence over there. Somebody else need to be under this hedge. Somebody need a hedge like that. Somebody need it right now. Somebody need to be covered by Yahweh. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You got to desire that. You got to want that, bro. You got to want that type of hedge around you. You got to want to be touched, brother Michael. You can no longer do your own thing. But you got to do his will. He said he would never leave you nor forsake you. I've been on them highways, ain't never been forsook. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. I done watched him. We've well, been guarding me for a long time. Spent around on a highway with a guy that was playing around on the highway. 18 wheelers came, they went past, we parked on the side of the highway like nothing ever happened. Blood of Jesus. Huh? This is my son right here. This is the car. I want you to look at that picture over here on the left. I want y'all to look at it. This one right here. Zakari. You see how rough he is? He rough. That boy is rough. He wants, you got you to be right there. Right here. Fell down the steps and knocked that tooth backwards. When I saw that, I about flipped out backwards. Boy, what done happened to my baby? I'm looking at this right here. We prayed. And we prayed. We commanded. And we commanded. And we prayed. 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 Y'all see it? You see it? Do you see what y'all got to see? What else Jesus got to do? What else he got to show you? What else he got to do? When we going to start believing? When you going to believe? When? When? When we going to start believing? What is it going to take for us to believe that he coming? When we going to believe that he near unto us like he said? He near unto us like he said. Ain't that what's written in the book? He near unto us. He not so far off. Y'all hear this? You remember, Brother Daniel? You remember? You remember? You remember? When the power flowed in? Do you remember, brother? How we was consumed in the environment? Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. That's all I want. I don't want nothing else. If I be telling you, you be getting so sophisticated, taking away the simplicity of Christ. That's it. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing from now on. That's it. I ain't got nothing else. I ain't giving you nothing else. I don't have silver and gold to give you. I can't give you that. I can give you this. I can give you that. Huh? That's it. Jesus. That's it, brother. Look at I'm just a man. I'm just a man. I ain't got nothing else, bro. I ain't rich. I can't give you nothing. But guess what? We can share in this blood, brother. We can share in it. We can share in that blood and watch him consume us, do things we never would thought. Next thing I know, I'm looking at my son. He eating, he biting down on boy, stuff he wouldn't even eat. Look at it. You see, he missed not one meal in that dining hall. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right, this is Sister Pam. So let me tell you about the power of Yah. See, he said, if I be lifted up, then I'll draw who? Oh, to who? To you? To him. To him. So every, that's why you got to remember. You can't be afraid to move and operate in the Holy Spirit. Because it ain't you. It's, it's, it's him drawing to himself. It's him drawing to himself. So I'm going to tell you all the truth. See, sister came. 
Sister Pam, right here. She came full of knowledge. Her parents are Hebrew teachers. I said, I already know it's going to break that down. Jesus. Jesus is going to break that down. You can't, you can't, you can't, you ain't going to come get me because I know who he is. I done seen too much of him. I done seen too much of him. I cut that short with Jesus. She came. The first, she, she came and, and saw there was a difference. It was spirit here. The Holy Spirit started tugging on her. I ended up talking to her one night. I just happened to walk in the room. She was getting ministered to. I just go in the room. I just get on the phone and say what I heard. I said what I, hear, I heard, Sam. And I left it alone. They said, I know months, she said she was going to move back to Kansas City. I, look, I said, all right, if you move here, you can't let Satan take out of your hand what's yours. See, we ain't playing. See, this is salvation. This is life. This is a, we, we trying to get somewhere. We need to be as on that narrow path. We need to be on there as much as possible as we humanly can. So then when she finally moved, the very first day she came, we had a service down at Mother J.C. house. The Holy Spirit was moving. I got another brother out. Most High had me to point a few people out. Brother, you stand up. Sister, you come up here. Sister, you come up here. Didn't we, Brother Miguel, didn't we? Listen to me, bro, Brother Scott. This blood, boy, this blood is something else. She was standing next to the woman, Loette, who just happened to hear about it, just happened to come because she was friends with Sister Idy's mother. Happened to be a lady I see at the gym walking around. I said, oh, Father. Because I know she go to that church around there. But I guess, but what? Now you in my, I told her, but you in, you just stepped into where I'm at. Remember, I ain't going to where you at. I, you, you came into where I'm at. And we began to pray. Me and Sister Gabby, man, I'm telling you. We laid hands on that woman. I began to just let the Holy Spirit minister. When we got done, when everything was done, this woman said, Pastor, the prayer you just prayed is the prayer I prayed last night. Also, the prayer you prayed is what I prayed before I came because I wasn't sure that I was coming. And also, I ain't moved my hand in five years, not my hand moving because I had a stroke in the name of Jesus. 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 Can we give him some glory? Can we lift up his name? Can somebody say Jesus? Can somebody say Jesus? Can somebody say Jesus? Can somebody say Jesus? Hallelujah. 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 Y'all listen to me. See, when she came, y'all made sure you couldn't leave because he said once you taste. Right? Yes. Of the good word and become a partaker of the Holy Spirit. Come on, what you talking about? What you talking about? You can't go nowhere once you taste this. Right? Because if you do, then you become as one who have put Yahshua to public shame all over again. That's why you got to watch. Because you pray for that healing, you want it. But he's going he gonna to give it to you. Now guess what you in? This same thing I told Brother Danny. Where you at, Brother Danny? Same thing I told him his first day sitting in there, didn't I? I said, oh, you're going to be stuck after today. <laughs> Did, that Holy Spirit move. I, 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 what you going to do? Was everything about you, was, was it on point? Y'all hear me? Yes, 
See, this is, what, this is who we serve. That's why I say I don't like playing around. I don't like messing around with people who just want to show up for a show. Because I know we got something, man. Listen to me, saints. We got something so powerful in our hands. If we would just use it, we would apply it. If we would have put it to use. You got to put it to use. You can't just hold on to it and know that the master, hallelujah, has given this unto us. Ain't man. Guess what? Neither one of us could go to that state and put our lives on the line for these, these, just this group of people. But he done it for his kinsmen. He done it so his people can be redeemed. He said, and to prove it to you, guess what? After that of the Holy Spirit come upon you, you shall receive power. So guess what? Everywhere I go, that's all. Hey, I'm preaching Jesus. When you come, I'm preaching Jesus. You here today because of Jesus. See, all them strongholds is getting torn down because of Jesus. We breaking in ground where there ain't nobody else can break in because of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Oh, hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all go ahead and be seated. See, it's real, you got to see it, because that's what we want. We, see, we, wanna, we want a perverse sign in this day. You don't believe if I, if I didn't put them up, you wouldn't believe, it wouldn't have been the same. It wouldn't have been the same. So I'm going to tell you this last one, then we're going to go ahead and really dig into these, these last little parts. We ain't going to be long. We, we know who the first fruit. We know, right? The first fruit of men. Right? See, let me get it to you. Let me get it to you. Like, I'm going to get this to you real square, Brother Myron. Because, see, Satan, he want to wear us down. He come continually to do what? Wear down the paces of the saints. Don't he? Guess what? Don't he come at you, Pastor? You ain't, we, ain't, we ain't exempt. Not at all. He quit coming at you, Elder? Because of title? He come. So these, one of these days, I'm down in the basement at the house. I'm already tired. It's late. Already from dealing with matters with the saints. Dealing with stuff at the gym. So guess what? Now, pastor's at his end. You know what I mean? But guess what? You, you, know, who, you know who he is, so you just keep going. You just keep pressing. I had got to end up checking my phone, and I end up seeing, Pastor, I need you to pray with me bad. And it was one of the moments where you're like, well, maybe I can have. The Holy Spirit said, no, you do it. Ain't no, ain't no maybe, nothing, nothing else. You. This you. So I end up calling. Because the text message from early. But when I called them, they was in the, in the process, in the midst of praying, hoping I saw the message and that I would call. It's late. I, when I picked up the phone, I said, look, Sister Kelly, Brother Joe, I'm, I'm spent. But the Holy Spirit, the blood of Jesus. Y'all hear me? Listen to me real good. Because he said, not by your might, not by your strength, but by his spirit. Ain't it? Ain't it? Y'all hear me? By his spirit. So I can at least get on the phone and let his spirit do what it do. Y'all hear me? You can at least get on the phone. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. So we begin to pray. We begin to pray. Next thing I know, I hear Sister Kelly saying he's being strengthened. He's being strengthened. And we pray in the name of Jesus. We get off the phone. That's where we left. So, y'all, it's, it's in your hands. 
I come in before we left, get this card, this postcard in the mail. All the saints was in the house cooking and doing what we was doing. And I'm in the back. I started reading this. Then as I read it, then I started getting chills. Then y'all reminded me, see why? See? See, we got to be tuned in. I began to tear up. I'm like, wow, Father. He said, by your, by your spirit. That's how we're going to make it in. We're going to make it on our own accord. We're going to make it in because of his spirit. See why he said, if you don't have his spirit, you are none of his. You see that? If you don't have his spirit, you are none of his. You see why he say that? Because all I did was get on the phone, tired. That's why I'm telling you this. Because I, I don't want you to leave this, this good moment we got together. Israel building up the kingdom. I don't want you to leave here and, and, and miss what Yah is trying to get you to see that we got to be on a different page than the rest of the world. Because time getting short, the kingdom draws nigh. You hear me? It draws now. I'm trying to tell you. Listen to me. So let me read this. Shalom, shalom, Pastor Corey and Sister Gabby. Bless you. I just wanted to thank you again so much for praying for Brother Joe again that night. He truly was at his last end of his rope. What a blessing. Yah's timing couldn't have been more perfect. Truly, it was the midnight hour. We knew Yah was going to heal him, but we didn't know when. When I text you, I told the father, Father, if this is very serious, please let Pastor Corey call. And you did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We told Yah, Jesus, we need to, we need you to touch. We need to touch the hem of your garment. So we are crying out. We push through the crowd of unbelief. We push through pain, fear, worry, doubt. Just like the woman with the issue of blood. We had nothing left. No way was he going to the ER. He told me, honey, we better get our house in order. I don't think I'm going to make it. Just then you called and prayed and Jesus raised him up. I know I ain't done nothing to deserve that. We ain't done nothing. We are nothing. In John chapter 15, it said, he is the true vine. And we are the branches. Aside from him, we are nothing. I immediately thought about it. I said, I, I know I, me. Nothing. Nothing. Only the blood. Y'all hit me? Only the blood. So you'll never know when y'all going to show up and be everything they need him to be in that moment. It's up to us to go forth in that Holy Spirit. Go forth in it. And let him be everything he said he was going to be for us. That was a promise. Hey, see, this, this is what you got to understand. We moving forth in the promise that was given to us. That ain't, we ain't doing nothing special. We just moving forth in the promise. Listen to me. This is how we miss it. 
Because we start thinking of all of these things that's far beyond, that's far too great for your mind to do so. You can't comprehend being healed by the blood of Jesus. See, we forget that. We forget that. See, you got to get healed. You got, it's got to be it today. You got to get touched today. You cannot. Don't let Satan put it in your mind. Don't let him put it in your mind. Don't let him take it away from you. Don't let him take what the promise. It's ours. That's our promise. It belongs to us. You get healed because he said we would. He said we would. Here it is. Right here. He said it. We didn't even get on the land good before Brother Joe and Sister Kelly came up to us with tears in their eyes. Breaking down. You, you, you don't understand, pal. I do. I do. Because I'm unworthy. I ain't the one. I want, don't come to me. Don't give me the glory. Give it to the mass. Give it to the mass. In the name of Jesus. I got to listen to me. I get a joy, Pastor, knowing that we didn't enter into something we never thought we would enter into. He said, if you had a faith of a mustard seed, listen to me. Mm. I'm healed. I'm, I'm healed. You ain't taking it from me today, Satan. You ain't taking it from me. He done done all of this. Yet what else? What more do we need to see? Thank you, Jesus. Consume us. That's right. You keep consuming us. That's right. what we need. We need to be consumed because we, we, we know so much. We think we got all the power in our hand. You better bow down and worship. Do you hear me? 
you better bow down and worship the one. Because every knee going to bow and every tongue going to confess that he's our master. I'm telling you. That's, I'm, li listen. Y'all feel the presence of y'all? He done came in on us. He done came in. We got to abide in this. We got to stay. Now we can talk. Now we can listen. Our ears are open. Our ears are open. Jesus. Have mercy. Look at it. All right. Praise Yah. All right. Now then, saints of the Most High Yah, who is the Lamb of Yah? Who, who is it? Ain't it? Y'all hear it, right? They bring a whole nother meaning, a whole nother depth, a whole nother depth to what we're talking about. We forget easily who is who in the whole scheme of things, don't we? See, I want you to think about what I just said. Elder. We forget who is who. Because we can get so busy going and, and all of a sudden it's you. Because you you trying to do this. You try, I said, man, I had to stop all the time, Pastor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I done switch roles with y'all. Y'all, let me get down right now. So I got to keep myself in check because guess what? I don't ever want to move ahead of y'all. You'll, you'll end up in a foreign land worshiping foreign, foreign elves. You hear me? If you move ahead. When you don't know who the Lamb of Yah is. Y'all hear me? Let us be reminded of the key things of the faith and the power of the blood of the Lamb. Y'all knew what we needed. So we're going to go ahead and read this. It's right there on the screen, Brother McGill. You can read it right there off the screen. I want y'all to listen. We're going to look at Genesis chapter 22, verse 7 and 8. We're going to come out of the KJV because this is very important. See, this is the basis of what we're talking about today. If you understand this, then guess what? You ain't going to be afraid to move into power. You're not going to be afraid to receive the healing because that's what's happening. See, we hear about the healing, but we are afraid to receive ours. Y'all hear that? So I know it ain't touched down yet, but it will. It will. It ain't touched down. This is why we so distant from what it is. All right? Here, let's read verse 7, Brother Miguel. And Isaac spake to Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Now, he said, where is the lamb? See, that's, see that right now, that's a matter. We got things that's taking place, that's transpiring, that's being set up. But you, you ask it. See, listen, that's an important question even in this day. Because when things start happening in our life, that's what we need to be asking. Where is the lamb? Where is the lamb? Right? See, because this happening, is this happening in the way it should. But guess what? A foreshadowing is taking place. Right? But also, the meat of everything that our whole faith, the whole substance, is taking place right here also. Because guess what? No man shall enter into the rain lest they do what? Come through Yahshua. Right? Lest you go through that door. You hear? All right. Let's go. Verse 8. <laughs> and Abraham said, my son. Yah will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Now there it is. See, listen, because now this is going to be so deep when we get down into the meat of this. Yah will provide for himself what? Lamb. You see that? So remember that. Remember what he said. I'm going to ask the question again. Yah will provide what? Lamb. For who? Himself. For himself. Let me ask it again, because I don't think y'all understand. See, you, you getting ready to leave here this weekend without really understanding what you just said. You just moving your lips, but you got to really understand what you're saying. Let me ask the question again. Y'all will do what? He going to provide a lamb. For who? For who? So you hear that? So he ain't providing it for you. He providing it for himself. But you get a chance to participate in it. You hear that? 
you get a chance, but you you get a chance to partake. See that? I'm gonna tell you, that's lawful because whatever's in the father's house, the son, that's right? right? That's right. Also have access to, it, even though it's not yours. You hear this? So we talking about some serious stuff. You gotta understand where we getting ready to go with this, right? Come on, y'all. Show love to Abraham, all right? Right? So remember, remember what you're saying. Y'all will do what? Provide a what? For who? So in doing that, in him, y'all provide. See, it sound, see now it sounds backwards. Sound like y'all selfish. Because you're like, well, how is that love? If you providing for yourself. That's love, bro. You better, you better get ready for it. Y'all hear me? All right. Y'all show love to Abraham by giving, by giving. Boy, these words, see, these words going to jump out at you in a minute. By giving his own sacrifice. Y'all hear this? He showed love. All right. While providing Abraham. Faithfulness. Hallelujah. While providing Abraham faithfulness. Do that make sense? Yes, yes, he provided himself a lamb and he provided Abraham with faithfulness. Right? Okay. I'll make sure we still there. Hallelujah. Yah has also favored his sons and his daughters in this end day. Giving us the highest gift of love. All right. We get ready to miss. I mean, Pastor, I can't tell you right now how many spirits I'm discerning just lost. Why? Because the word ain't in them. See, the word, when the word ain't, you didn't guess what? You know exactly what y'all sure are doing with you right now. You know exactly what he's getting ready to do with you. You ain't getting ready to miss. You're getting ready to eat real good. And guess what? You're going to get touched. You ain't going to leave here. You're going to make sure you get that prayer. Because guess what? Something kept coming up this weekend where I guess, well, I'll do it next time. I'll do it next time. Well, I had them to pray for me next time. I'll get deliverance next time. You better do it. You better do it while you got the unction. Hey, I got off the highway when the Holy Spirit said, get off the highway. I got off. I got off. So you better do it. You better do it. I'm telling you. It's a flow, man. It's a flow you got to be in. You got to be in that flow. I'm trying to tell you. You got to be in the flow. See, all of this is going right now, Brother JC. It's happening right in front of our face. That's what I love about you. I get to just say what he wants me to say. I get to watch people receive or reject. You might not think you reject. That's why, hey, heaven and earth get witness all the time to people sitting there not receiving. Come on. All right. We're getting ready to read Deuteronomy. Chapter 10, verse 12, all right? Now, because we're talking about the lamb that Yah provided. And we talked about foreshadowing. And we have a principal Hebraic thing that's going on. You, you being a father. You got our shepherd, Pastor Dow. Ain't Pastor Dow firm? Did you equate that with love? Right. See, that's how I knew I came here. See, it's the same conversation I had with my brother Vest because we grew up without fathers in our house. So we knew that peace right there where cause I know what a stern man is. I did everything else running around the street. What? It tell you. We, you understand? We didn't done it. But the, the, the substance of being in line and being disciplined and really crafting who you are. Because see, that's how Satan get us as young men when we misguided and we can't get on a path to really take who he created. Because he knew us before we was in the womb. And so he already had a design for us. But we couldn't get to it. Why? Because we was way over here off the path. So a father that has love that's giving Love. He gonna give you the love the way he gonna give it to you, cause that's the way he gotta give it to you. You understand? You listen. Let's go. Chapter ten, verse twelve. Let's go 
Uh, Deacon McGill, let's go. And now, Israel, what is Yahweh your Elohim asking of you? Stop. What is Yahweh your Elohim asking of you, Brother Greg? Did you just hear what it said? He said, what is he asking of you? Finish read. But. To but. Fear. But. I didn't ask you for a million dollars. I asked you to hear. Because I'm your daddy, boy. Right? So that's how I got to talk to Demore and Gabriel. I'm your daddy. All I need you to do is hear what I said. And I stand there face to face. Do you hear me? I need you to hear this, boy, before the breath goes out my body. You better hear this. I ain't asking you nothing. You can't give me nothing. What do you got? Where your money? Well, I got 12 dollars. No, keep that in your little bank. I don't need that. I just need you to hear. Come on. Finish read. But to fear Yahweh your Elohim. But to fear Yahweh your Elohim. Come on. To walk in to, all his ways. To walk in all his ways. And hear, to love him. And to what? Love. You hear that? See, I done loved you enough to provide my own lamb. I ain't asking you for yours. Yeah. I'm providing my own. So love me by keeping all my ways. Right? See, that's the original. That go back to it. That go back to it, Pastor. See, when it go back to that, so you got to understand, this is why Yah brought you out of Christianity. He brought you here so you can hear what he said right here. Come back and fear him and walk in all his ways. And he going to provide you with a lamb. He going he gonna to provide you with a lamb. Y'all hear me? He going to provide you with one. You don't need nothing else. He going to provide you. Just come on back, son. Come on. I got my own lamb. Y'all hear me? I got my own lamb, DJ. Just come on back. I got mine. You just come on back. Come on. Was that it? Come on, And to serve Yahweh your Elohim. With all your heart and with all your being. Y'all hear that? See, this, this is the substance. You think past this be asking people for, give, give me all you got. He never said that. That's what y'all said. Look. Look. Right here. Elohim with all. Elohim with all. Elohim with all. What do all mean? All. Right? What, I mean... What are we waiting on? Yes, See, because guess what? You can't hear. When, I'm te I'm te when the word ain't in you, you can't hear. Boy, people, will, baby, look, it be people close to you. They'll drop a seed of wickedness in your ear. When you know y'all told you to give all. Y'all you, asked you. That's come to me with everything you got. But you won't even go because guess what? You didn't let that wicked seed get in your ear. Man, listen, this thing ain't by flesh. It's by spirit. When you walk in the spirit, you're going to understand where you're supposed to be, how you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be. Huh? Come on now. Boy, I'm telling y'all. Y'all better uh, wake up to this blood. Wake up to it. Wake up to it. Let's look at this. Let's look at love. Ahab. All right. Hebrew 11:57. All right. Aleph, hey, bait. All right. That's the Strong's number. All right. We're going to look at this in depth because, see, I always talk about the living word of Yah because these letters, when you begin to put them together, Yah knew what he was doing when he was doing this stuff. This, this means something. You got an Aleph in there. Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew Aleph Bet. And Yah said, he is the Aleph and the Tav. Right? right? The beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Right. See, when he made Adam, Adam's name started with Aleph, meaning he was part Yah, part spirit. And he was part ground, part Adama, ground. Dom is blood. Right? He said, don't drink the blood because the life is in the blood. So he put the blood, guess what, in the body. And he blew the life into Adam, the breath of life. And guess what? We got in our blood. We got oxygen molecules flowing through our blood. Right? See how simple this is? Let it make sense to you because he ain't about a bunch of, now nah, I'm just trying to get you to understand because we're talking about love some kind of way. 
Y'all made a hob mean love, and then guess what? It don't mean what you think it is. You think it means laying up next to your wife all the time. Come on. Let's go. All right, look at this. Look what that word is. See how we get right back to this? Give. Love is give. Love is give. If you love me, right, keep my commandments. And when you first start keeping, you're like, dang, we can't do nothing. Right? We, dang, we, we can't eat shrimp no more. We can. I like pork, boy. Right? That pork. <laughs> but y'all was saying, look, guess what it is? See, he even tested him with the Sabbath. He said, well, you go out and get enough for the day after the morrow, right? Moses, let's see what they're going to do. Right? See, give. Love, the pictograph, hey, represents one who is looking at a great sight with his hands raised as when saying, behold, the bait is a representation of the tent or house. All right, so we got them two. We already know we got I left in that. But this is the basis of it, aside from the parent root. All right, combine these pictures mean look toward the house or provide for the family. You hear this? Husband love who? You who doing the giving? That's in function, man. That's in function. That's in function. Even when you look at each shot. Right? That's in function. Listen to it. One does not choose the household which one is born into, including tribe, parents, children, and wife, as marriages often are arranged by the father. It is a gift from Yah. These gifts are seen as a privilege and are to be cherished and protected. So if the strong man had known what hour, the thief would have come and would have kept watch, you would not have suffered your home being broke. Y'all hear this, man? Y'all ain't paying attention. See, you can't get outside the road when it's already designed, when it's already set up, when he's spoken. These are the words that we are dealing with. Right? Look at this, the expression and action toward the family, one, I mean, which one was privileged with. And at the bottom, the verb, ahab, all right, love, lover, friend, beloved, like, lovely, loving, all right, from the Strong's 157. So just giving you that. Now, the Brit Hadashah, all right, let's, let's, let's look at this. Here's a traditional expression of love in Hebraic thought, seeing that Yahshua is using the example of a Abba giving gifts to a Ben, meaning the father giving to a son. Shows that the father loves us. Let's look at this. This is Matthew 7. We're going to read verse 9 through 13. All right, let's go. <laughs> or is there a man among you who, if his son asks for bread, Stop. shall give him. Wait a minute. Did you hear what he said? Who among you, if his what? Son. Asks. Asks who? For what? Bread. Watch the word he used. Finish read. Shall give him a stone. Now stop. Shall give. Him a stone. You understand this? Yes. See, because there it is. That's, we're talking about the expression of love. This is Hebraic. This is just function of the family. See, we ain't just having children, brother. Yeah. See, we raising up righteousness. So all them little sons I got running around, guess what? I'm training them up. When I give to them, they understand why I'm giving. I ain't just giving it to you because you asking and you running around here, brother. There's some stuff behind this. You heard the word of you. See, we, we, we done read that. Thought. We ain't thinking about nothing this other stuff. We done read that. I know we done read it. Y'all done read the Bible, but you ain't read that. 
Right? Come on, come on, D. Or if he asks for a fish, shall he give him a snake? Now stop, they use it again. Shall he give? You, you hear this? This is all the Father giving. Come on, finish reading. If you then, being wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your Father who is in the heaven give you what is good to those who ask him? Y'all hear this? Well, he, do, do you understand? See, y'all missed it. Y'all missed the punchline. Your father that is in heaven. What more, right? Do he know how to give to us? The problem is in our asking because we, we ain't making that connection. We ain't connecting with the love. Why? So what happened? He said, he want, then we read in Deuteronomy, he wants you to love him with all your, right? <laughs> right, then we read it? So that, that, there it is. Look, look how we disconnected. So now, when we are disconnected, then you even miss the lamb that he provided for himself. You missed that. Let's go. Therefore, whatever you wish men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the Torah and the prophet. You hear what he said? For this is. And he said might be. This is the Torah and the prophets. Come on, man. We, we, look, we right back in our heritage. See, we build, see, this is a building up message. This is a restoration message. This is really utilizing the promise message that we're getting from the Most High Yah. Y'all hear me? Is that it, Deacon? All right. So now in hearing that and understanding that we got some concrete things, we got some things on our hands that we can work with, now we got to really start to put this together. So this is how you don't go home empty-handed, Brother Darrell. This is how you don't go home empty-handed. And you, you, then you could be standing people up there talking about, and, and when we pray, see, I'm just excited. I'm like a little kid. Just like you say, be as little child. I'm, I'm just like that. I'm excited, jumping around. You been to healing? Oh, man. Why I get so excited? But we been to do healing? And pray? Delivering? What? I be just like a little kid, because guess what? It's mine. He promised it. Right? We be so grievous when it's time to pray for people. Grievous. And then the person that's getting prayer be grievous. Man, I got to go for prayer. I don't know if I'm going to get healed. What? So I, when I get there, I know you getting ready to be healed. I know it. Just like that lady that stood up there. She, she came. She was doing this with her hand. Y'all remember saints? She, she just kept doing it. You, you, you just move your hand. Hallelujah. Right? All right. So, let's put the brakes on this thought and evaluate some things you may have never thought of. Let's, let's look at this. You sure? You sure? He's the Lamb of Yah, right? Every time Yah establishes a covenant, he requires blood. Right? So see, you just went through Passover, and, you, and, and, and so then in remembering all of these things, let me ask this question. Do you actually believe that blood that they had put on those doorposts, do you believe that that account is true and that that spirit that was slaying all of the firstborn of the Miserites. Do you believe that's true? Right? And that applied to that, to that covenant that he made that he told him to do. Because you didn't put that blood up there. Because he promised you that, look, if you had his blood, I'm going to pass over you. Right? So in this one, see when Yeshua was talking about here. Take this bread. This is my body. So you're entering into covenant with him. Today was breaking bread with him up there. Here, drink of this cup, for this represents my blood of the new. All right? Or the renewed. Here's this blood. So everything that was taking place under that new covenant belongs to you. 
So you might not have thought of it like that, but we got to keep going so you can understand it. See, so, so we don't keep coming up short, all right? Let's look at John 3.16, all right? You can read it right there. Yes, sir. Let's go, Deacon. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Y'all say he's going to provide for what? Himself or what? So you weren't thinking about that. But Christianity had you thinking about this other thing, the world. But I'm thinking about Yah providing for himself. Right here. You see it? Do y'all see that in there? Y'all so love the world that he, look at the word he used, gave. Is that love? And that's, is that it? Come on. All right. So then let's go and evaluate that. Y'all loves who and what. So let's, let's look at this. Because we got to hear this so that we put this in perspective because we almost done. If you didn't get it by now, you missed it. Right. <laughs> you said it yesterday. The Holy Spirit be coming in, touching people. Guess what? Other people be still looking around. When he coming? Well, you ain't feel that? Right. Right. We can read Psalms 47, verse 4. Let's go, Deacon. He chooses our inheritance for us. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You hear that? Come on. The excellence of Yaakov, whom he loves, Salah. You hear that? Y'all choosing that. Come on. Come on. Why do you think you're sitting here? Why do you think you're sitting here? Why do you think you're sitting here? Look what he's saying. Huh? Oh, look what he's saying. Why do you think he's sitting here? Why do you think? Why do you think he's sitting here? Huh? Why do we think? See, you got to see it. Boy, we, hey, Israel, please. I look at all of these men. I look, I was thinking about this this weekend. I said, man, if we could get this right. If we can quit being scared to be men and being molded, there you go. There you go. stand there and take, hey, take it, take it. Mm -hmm. and grow up right there in that moment. Hallelujah. Boy, look, it's already there. He'd, the love has already been there. Y'all been, the love been there Hallelujah. from the beginning. Hallelujah. Right? Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go 1 Kings. Was, it, was you done? Yes, sir. 1 Kings 10, 9. Let's go, D. Blessed be Yahweh Elohim, who delighted in you to put you on the throne of Israel, because Yahweh has loved Israel forever. Right? He delighted in you to give you the throne. To get you hear that word keep showing up. Y'all hear it? See, I'm trying to get you to take to it. It's just like one of these hearings is gonna take it. You're gonna sell out. You're gonna realize that you ain't been giving all. You're gonna realize that you've been holding back from y'all that somewhere somebody deceived you and tricked you. How do you receive your inheritance? Put it out there. See, this ain't, I don't play that. The blessings of Abraham. You be just, that's a cliche, people say. But here it is, we hearing it, we, we getting sound wisdom from the mouth of Yah, from his word that he made sure we had in this time so we could look in and peer in and see where we need to reassimilate ourselves. Right? Let's go, whole shape. 11, 1. 
When Israel was a child. Stop. Look, 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 look. Hear a father? See how father talk? He said when Israel was a child. Come on. I loved him. And right. out of Mitzrayim, I called my son. Y'all hear that? Right? See, that's what we're talking about. See, if we go back to what Yahshua was saying and breaking that down for us so we can really make sure that that application, that Hebraic thought, so he wasn't just talking. See, that's how far we removed. So then when we go back and apply what he was saying, then here it is. Look how much Yah is already giving. Look what he's doing. I mean, he's going above and beyond. He didn't gave you so much. Ain't nothing else he really need to give. Right? You got to get on board. Let's go. Deuteronomy 4.37. And because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them and brought you out of Mitzrayim with his presence, with his great power. Boy, gee. Listen to me. I know y'all all over this. I know y'all over this. Listen to what he is saying to us today. See, let me, let, me, let me refresh your memory. You thought you chose this when the word of truth came to you, but he had chose you. And he opened your ears so you could hear what he was saying. You hear that? Every last one of us, we it. The world has to know. Listen to me, sisters. Y'all got a job to do because we got to get going on getting this great nation up and running. Did you hear what he said about us? He had already done that because he chose them. He also chose us. He also chose us. See, this thing is so designed. See, I, I know your family members, your parents, and folks, been, they've they been making you have a little bit of doubt. Just a little bit. See, I don't, I'm not playing that no more. I know 100% I'm Israel. 100. Listen, this thing burns me, brother, free when I lay down, and I can't hardly sleep no more, brother. Because I want to restore this thing so bad. I just keep seeing it, Pat. I just keep seeing me and you. We just marching with an army. We just going. Oh. Going. 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 I see it. I see it, Pat. I'm telling you. This is what we doing. Y'all listen. It, listen. It don't, it do not work. If you ain't all 100% in, it don't work. This is, why, this is why I keep talking to the saints and can't see why I've been on them so hard about Gideon. I said, let me tell you how powerful that story is. See, he said, whoever I tell you to take, you take. Whoever I say don't take, don't take. See, listen, why? Because he already chose. You see that? That's why you can't go ahead. See, because look, here's, let me give you the, the, the picture. Let me give you the whole image that's with that. The ones he already chose, see, it wasn't a word passed around. Brother Jordan, they, they didn't pass word around. Y'all said do this. Y'all tell the next one. No, it wasn't a word passed around. The ones that was especially chosen to go, they all was down lapping like a dog. With, without, without anything coming to them. Do you understand? They just lined up. That, that, look, that whole pitch, they bowing down, lapping like a dog, showed submission, mercy, readiness. Do you understand? Them the ones y'all chose to take, 
Because they wasn't going to mess up. They wasn't going to jack up the mission. So here it is in this time. Y'all providing the lamb. And you can't even come all the way in. You still got your foot out there playing around and the lamb is already sacrificed. He's saying, come on, come on. The blood is already, right? It not already been sprinkled. Right? We still playing around. So I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you today, I hope you don't think this me talking. I hope you really listening to the voice of Yah. I hope you listen. Because it's it. You got to hear it. You got to be able to pay attention and know when Yah is speaking because he talk, he doing, he rest, he restoring right before your face. And we sitting here like it ain't happening. It's happening. The book is happening now. It's happening right now. Right now. It ain't going to happen. It's happening right now. Uh-oh. Woo-wee. Hold up, Brother McGill. Go ahead and get it. Here we go. We're in the thick now. We are in the thick. Where everybody turn around. You hear that hard saying, you turn around, never return. Right? That hard saying come past me. Look, many had followed. But that day, many disciples. See, you and just people, the crowd. It said many disciples turned away, never to return. That was the lamb. That was it. Right? What are you doing? This is what I'll be watching. I'm trying to tell you right here. Because see, Pastor said all the time. He said, look around. Didn't you say look around? Look around. Uh, right? right? Y'all remember Brother Mike, right? Right? He'd be right here. Right here. Gone. Mm -hmm. Turned away. Never to return. See, I ain't listening. You ain't listening. Holy Spirit. You can't play. I watch people. I see you. I be jumping around with you. Spirit be on me. You be on yourself. Oh. Right? Right, past. Soon as the smoke clear, you can't handle it. Hey, I said it. I sure did. Bottom line. Watch this. See, you're talking about people being ready and prepared. See, when you know the promise, see, this is a result of knowing the promise. Listen to what I'm saying before you start reading. Because this is how I got here. This whole picture, I tell Vess all the time, I say, this is like a movie, man. It's like a dream. I remember sitting in the car, getting, being pulled over, the police behind me. We pushing smoke out the window. I got all kind of stuff in my leg. In the car, I'm telling my, telling my home, man, what you, yeah. you think this is it? Mm. Then all of a sudden, he come to the car and look in and say, fix your tail light. <laughs> gone. The high gone. The high was gone. I'm like, what? <laughs> you, you hear that? Wave his hand then. Then turns around. Right. Gone, bro. Turns around. We go through all of this mess at this church. I said, man, no. No, ain't man, this, this can't be. I'm done. Everything corrupt. Because I can't do it. I already, I know where I came from. And I see how that ends. But it looked like where I'm going back to. But. Y'all stepped in. Gabby came and said, look, look at this man. man. Baby, what? Man, we ain't got time. Who is this dude? He on here screaming and yelling. Who, who is he? Where you find him at? I'm going to check him out. Boy, I push play. <laughs>
Ipo bari nayo boy. Like what you mean? You hear that? I'm about to show you the extreme. Sitting in the car, could be in jail. Y'all waved his hand. I didn't push play. I'm up here preaching. Boy, look, I know he got a lamb. I'm, I'm telling you, look, <laughs> right, right, I know he got one, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you got, hey, you got to know it, you got to know it when you see it. See, I kept going, because guess what? Y'all had already meant, he had already, I kept going, the next video, the next one. And then, man, by the time I looked up, it was light. I said, it was morning. <laughs> Gabby walked up, I was like, man, how long, man, I've been sitting here all night. But I got a page full of notes. Gabby, look, this dude is on point. Who is this dude? <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, hey, boy. We are Israel. We Israel. Y'all hear me? We Israel. We Israel. I'm telling you. Goodness. It's us. Jesus. Woo. Man. Y'all listen. We about to get into it. See this? I'm on the, I want you to see it. See, you make it too complicated. See, I, this, I keep this word so simple. It's like, it be the smallest stuff. Like, the simplicity of Yahshua. I be like, wow, oh my goodness. Because I watch people. You learn all of this Hebrew, you be missing it. The words say, ever learning, but never coming into the knowledge of the truth. Come on, man. Y'all hear me? I'm telling you. You got you to gotta watch it. So this is what we're talking about. So now you're getting ready to see it firsthand. Because see, now you got the Messiah. You got the word of Yah, living flesh. You got salvation, walking the earth. Walking the earth. And what we're getting ready to read, we're going to see people. See, everybody couldn't see that. That's why it was already meant. It was going to be those who weren't going to see him. And they was going to impale him because you missed it. You didn't see it. But it, see, this is where the calling is, because this is going to be a calling. You got to hear it. See, this is what happened to us, us who saw it, us who heard what we read in Deuteronomy, right? Yeah. Us who feared, right? This is what happened. We saw it. Let's go, finish. Let's go. Let's read, D. Again on the following day, John was standing with two of his taught ones, and looking at Yeshua walking, he said, See, the Lamb of Elohim. And the two taught ones heard him speaking and they followed Yeshua. Stop, you hear that? They immediately, they're like, wait a minute. The Lamb of Yah. There it is. It said, did it say they waited? Did they pause? Did they waste time? Immediately, immediately, immediately they turned and followed. Y'all hear that? Just what happened to me that night. I was sitting there. I said, wait a minute. The Lamb of Yah, wait, wait a minute. Well, I got to get down here. I called Blog Talk, man. What? Hey, hey. I just want to say hi. I, I found it. It's me. Right? Right? <laughs> Y'all hear this? Simplicity. Simplicity. Yeah, Brother Shannon, simplicity. Don't make it complicated. It ain't that hard. They saw, look, wait, they ain't need nothing. They, they say they taught him the, the I left bet and then taught him how to properly pronounce his name. No, they saw him walking. They heard him speak and they immediately followed after him. Do y'all hear this? Come on. Woo, Jesus. 
Jesus! 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 Woo! 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 Jesus! 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 Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Jesus! I don't ever want to miss him again. Ever! 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 That's why I'm trying to, wherever the spirit, I'm trying to be where, every, over there, I'm trying, what, what right here, wait a minute, I'm trying to be everywhere where the presence of Yah is. Because I need something every time I get, I got to get in there, got to squeeze in. I'm like them, I'm following. I'm, I'm going. Everywhere, elder. Everywhere, where is that? Guess why? Because hey, I listen to what the word say. Be offended by nothing. Boy, you know how much stuff these saints do? But guess what? I don't be offended because I'm going where Yahshua is. Guess what? Hey, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I ain't look. It's all right, brother. Because I'm going over here where the lamb at. Y'all hear me? I don't be offended by that. I got to stay where he at. Lord, I done pushed buttons. Look at this. See, look what y'all be doing to me. Come on, man. Let's go. And Yeshua turning and seeing them following said to them, what do you seek? And they said to him, Rabbi, where are you staying? He said to them, come and see. Ooh, wait, pause right there. See, that's the hard thing. Because you don't know what you're going to see, so you don't go see. Don't. You don't know what you're going to see, so you can't follow. You can't, I, get, I need to see what I'm following first. I promise you, listen to me. Pastor, I did not know. I said, I don't know if this, I don't know what he on. Man, I don't know if we driving down here and this is the last time. But I know we supposed to be going down here. I know it. And I'm watching. So I'll be trying to tell y'all, you, you ask them questions and just Satan, he, he just waiting for, he waiting for you to ask that question, that faithless question. You ask, why am I doing? I'm asking, what do you want me to do? You know what I mean? I ain't asking, why am I doing it? What do you want me to do? I don't know what you want, Pastor. But what? I tell the saints all the time, Pastor Dow can call me. 12 o'clock tomorrow after we leave, I'm coming right back down here. Do you understand? Right back. I will cut everything short. Because I know we building the kingdom. We build, see, it's that important. But it ain't that important to you. Because you ain't found the lamb. You don't see it. You hear it? Right? You don't see it. What I'm trying to tell you, you so on hold, you better get shook free this weekend. You better get shook free of that, that selfishness. You better get set free of that bondage, these spirits that's holding you, holding you captive. I'm telling you, you in bondage. I ain't in bondage. I walk freely in this. It ain't a man on this earth. You ain't getting ready to shut me up. You ain't getting ready to shut me down. We just sat in many meetings with these Hebrew Israelites. And guess what? I, I still preach power. Don't I? You don't want it because you done missed the lamb. I'm trying to tell y'all. Let's go. Come on, Deacon. They went and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. Now it was about the 10th hour. Y'all hear that? They, what was they doing? What was they doing before? Weren't they doing, right? Weren't they doing something? Weren't you doing something? Right? You, you was. I know I was. Something else. But <laughs> hurry up and came. Yes, See, this is why I said it was so mind blowing. My third time down here, I'm getting ordained as a pastor. I'm standing right here, like, <laughs> 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 
is it you getting ordained or is it me? You know what I mean? Like, trying to figure this thing out, bro. I mean, like, <laughs> boy, look. But before you was in the womb. Right? Come on. Come on. All you got to do is see the Lamb of Yah and follow immediately. And follow immediately. You, you see, yeah, I, 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 died, I had to die to myself. Y'all understand that this, this is why I broke down crying. Because guess what? This wasn't about Brother Joe and Sister Kim. It was about me, where I was at. It was right there. Y'all showed up in somebody's life. I started crying. Like, that's why I said I wasn't worthy. I'm like, wait a minute. I was just here. I, need, I needed it. I had to follow immediately. I had to come. When I heard, when I heard him, I had to come right now. Because I don't have nothing. What am I going to do? Because I can't do nothing with myself. I'm, I'm overtaken. I, we, we, beg, we bought big brother Snow for deliverance. When he came back from Passover, so what, what they do down there, brother? What, what they got? So he was doing deliverance. Can you do me? You remember, brother? Do me. I, I, whatever that is. Right. All of it. Everything. I don't doubt. I believe all of it. Everything. Everything. I believe all of it. If you was down there, you were doing what they were doing, I know it's going to work on me because I believe that. I'm listening to him. You were down there close to that. Do that on me. Do you understand? See, you be it's too, it's way out there for you. But for me, it's simple. I, I want Yah. I want Yah. Sure, I want Jesus. Just that simple. I don't want nothing else. It's just that simple. It's just that. You got to know. You got to know. In the name of Jesus, you got to know. Told you. We family. We bound together by the blood. For real. It ain't just pastor called, elder called me. I'm coming. This is my family. I would say you, but some of y'all going to, you just start calling me. Hey, I need you to come up and help me wash my car. I ain't coming up there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Gee. Hey, Pastor, I'm telling you, boy. We, hey, we, hey, hey, we figured it out up there. I told him, look, this is how we're going to do it. You remember Moses said you got captains of the tens, captains of the fifties. Captains of the hundreds and captains of the thousands. I would look, what you talking about, brother, that's the tens. They don't, they don't go to me. They go to Brother McGill. Y'all hear me? Because we, we got to. Because guess what? Because you, you be trying to stay in the flow, then you come talking to me about my, your, your shoestrings attacking. You hear me? Brother, take, boy, if you don't take that over there to Brother McGill. You know, like, what, what they talking about, bro? <laughs> Straight up, because I'm after this. I'm after this lamb, bro. I promise, I don't want nothing in my way. Well, nothing. Stay out of my way, because I'm going for that. You understand? Where we at on that, Deacon? All right. All right. No, y'all loves us. We know that he did send us a sacrifice and we do follow when we hear where, I don't know what happened to that, all right? We do, said we do follow when we hear and are gathered together in his name, in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. So that's what they're supposed to be. So we're going to cross that out and put the new <laughs> word up there. Hallelujah. Now. Let's get to this because this is important right here. The impalement is very important in this whole process, seeing that we've been talking about this lamb. But before we read, let me ask this question. Because, see, this thing right here that they ask you when they play that soft music in the church, they're trying to get you, do you believe in this death, burial, and resurrection? So they're trying to woo you. But see, we on the other side of it. Let me tell you how deep this is. Because you done seen 
this whole thing be by design by Yah. And you've seen how Yah has gathered us into this place as true descendants and children. To build this up, to this us, it, it ain't on nobody else. If you don't believe, guess what? It ain't it ain't nobody else. It's you. No, it ain't him. It's you. I don't care how many times you turn. So you turn back around, it's still you. So you gotta understand that now what we getting ready to read. This is the whole thing. On what took place while you have this blood to protect you when you're riding down the highway. When you show up for the first time and somebody's hand move. Because he told the disciples, if I don't go away, he can't send you what he needs to send you. But if he do go away, then I can send you that comforter that you're going to need. Not, not that you want, that you are going to need. I can send you that. But this blood has to establish this thing that Yah is establishing with you who are Israel because it's a promise. I know you don't want me to go away, but I got to go so that the promise can be fulfilled. Y'all understand this? This ain't pretty because neither one of us could have done this. See, this is the lamb that he was talking about, Yah was talking about in Genesis that he was going to provide. So that you can bring your tail right on back from all that wickedness you was doing that you was touching. Because he said touch not no unclean thing. You touched. Look at your hands. They dirty on both sides. He said touch not no unclean thing. But the blood was activated. So now that it can be Sprinkled upon us. We can be covered even when we don't deserve. We can be covered. We can be covered like no other people. That's how I know I'm peculiar. When I see y'all, you keep on preserving me. You just keep preserving me. I had to keep reminding the saints. I forget. Sister Diane, I was telling them, I, said, I had forgot that the other time when I came, I remember sitting at home two weeks before I came, and the Holy Spirit said, tell her you're going to pray for her. I didn't know about what. Then when I got on the land, I still forgot till I, I saw you over there. And he, didn't I tell you? It just was like that in my spirit. Just, I, I, ran, I ran over there. Come to find out, man, we, it, this was deeper than we thought. The Holy Spirit was doing something for both of us. He was bringing me closer in faith. And, and like, do you, do you understand what, I, what you're getting ready to do? I mean, not that. See, it'd be, them be steps. And you got to have, them steps is so important. That's why you got to keep believing. You got to keep, you, you got to keep trusting. You got you to go further in that because guess what? Y'all going to find out sooner or later, do you really want, are you going to really follow me? Are you going to really follow the land? Are you going to really allow me to give you this gift that I'm giving? That's where the evaluation come in. That's where you got to stand in the mirror and check yourself. Yeah, I, ain't, I have not been forthcoming, which I, I, I have not truly believed. No, I haven't. And I'm confessing today with my mouth. Because I, I, I need to trust you like I ain't never trusted in that in my whole entire life. I, I, need, I, need, I needed that. Why? Listen to me. This is why you, this, when we get ready to read this, you understand. Because Yahshua said this one thing that's so important to us. He said the day is going to come where men's bowels are going to befall them for the sight of the things that's going to be taking place in the earth. But you are not to fear. 
But see, you had to be getting laid up in the spirit in that. You had to already been in the blood so much that you truly stand and endure to the end because you have already been a part of that whole move that the blood has brought us to. You had already had to be under that hedge so you know that even this thing too, I am victorious in. You understand? You, 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 hey, that's where, look, that's where the building up is. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get us there because this thing is so important. So important. Let us listen. Because for this cause, Yah has chosen us. Come on, Deacon. And spitting on him, they took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they took the robe off him. Then they put his own garments on him and led him away to be impaled. And as they were going out, they found a man of Cyrene, Shimon by name. They compelled him to bear his stake. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, place of a skull, they gave him wine mixed with bile to drink. And after tasting, he would not drink it. And having impaled him, they divided his garments, casting lots, that it might be filled what was spoken by the prophet. They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. And sitting down, they guarded him there. And they put up over his head the written charge against him. This is Yeshua, the sovereign of the Yahudim. Then two robbers were impaled with him, one on the right and one on the left. And those passing by were blaspheming him, shaking their heads and saying, You who destroyed the dwelling place and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the son of Elohim, come down from that stake. And likewise, the chief priest with the scribes and elders mocking said, he saved others, he is unable to save himself. If he is the sovereign of Israel, let him now come down from the stake and we shall believe him. He trusted in Elohim, let him rescue him now if he desires. For he said, I am the son of Elohim. And also the robbers who were impelled with him reviled him saying, the same. And from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Yeshua cried out with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, Lema, Shabakatani, this is Mael, Mael, why have you forsaken me? Some of those standing there having heard said, This one's caused you, Eliyahu. And immediately, one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with sour wine and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. But the rest said, leave it, lest us see Eliyahu come to save him. And Yeshua cried out again with a loud voice and gave up his spirit. And see, the veil of the dwelling place was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth was shaken and the rocks were split. And the tombs were opened. And many bodies of the holy ones who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. And when the captain and those with him who were guarding Yeshua saw the earthquake and all that took place, they feared exceedingly, saying, Truly this was the son of Elohim.
saints. This is the lamb who John the Baptist was preaching to his disciples. When he said, there goes the lamb of Yah, this was the lamb that Yah was providing. And they followed him immediately all the way to the point where they saw the sacrifice for their lives being performed before them. And in them seeing this, knowing that if we reject this, then we reject our opportunity to enter into the kingdom. This is the lamb. This is the lamb we reject. He does. Jesus. We reject this lamb so much. We reject this lamb daily because we refuse to give up the old man. We refuse to turn from the wickedness that he is trying to set us free from. He went down in the graves and already set them free. And even for us who are yet alive, he's given us an opportunity to receive from his hand these very things, man, that's going to allow us to enter into life. And that's why I'm trying to get us to see this and know that this blood that I was talking about earlier with these testimonies, this is real. It's for us. Even though he died, even though he was impaled, I'm seeing the works of Yahshua hands in this day work only because we have come into the belief, only have because we have come into the conversion and our minds have been transformed. We're allowing ourselves to be partakers in everything that he's doing. Yeah. See, it's, it's, it's now. It is right now that you're going to have to you're going to have to decide. Don't leave here today and let your decision still be up in the air. Because I'm, ple I'm really pleading with you. I really am. Because yes. yes, yes, some of us, we, look, you, this may be your last time not coming to the feast. It may be your last time breathing. Because mm -hmm. he know who sit among us and reject him. He know who it is. He's been calling out to you. You have received warning after warning. You have been told. He have made it known to you where you fall short. Yet you continue in sin. This lamb. That's the lamb y'all was provided. Did you hear? Did you hear what happened? Did you hear him being mocked? You hear how bad he was treated? All because you can have all for you to have blood to cover you when you're on that highway in that accident. When you riding down the street. When a car run into your car. That same blood that was spilled that day covered you. Just like it covered me. Just like it covered Brother Keith. Just like it covered Sister Stacia. Just like it moved Sister Loette Hand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus! Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh! Oh, Jesus! Oh! Oh, Jesus! Oh, hallelujah! Oh, Father. I'm telling y'all, saints, it's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth if you don't abide in this lamb. I'm telling you, your day of terror and sorrow shall come upon you. And you're going to wish that you had abided in him while you had the opportunity. This is our closing. So here's the here's the, the thing. 
You heard it? You've been listening? You have been a partaker of the bread today. Because y'all said man said not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of his mouth. You've been a partaker of the bread of heaven today. So the first thing got to come to your mind that then seeing that this lamb that we just heard about, did you hear? This lamb that was slain for you, he provided for himself a lamb. This lamb that was slain, what has he done for you then in that sin then? Can you think back? Have you rejoiced? Have you given him glory? Have you praised? Have you opened up your mouth and told somebody else of the goodness and the refreshing that you had? We sit here and hold on to the report when he said, go out into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. What has he done? What has he done? Or can you even rejoice in it? Did you see him today? Did you see him? Did you see the Lamb of Yah today? Did you see him? Because I know I did. He was all over me. I felt it. Well enough. Well enough. Can't contain. See, when he well up and you can't contain. That's him. That's him. That's him, Delano. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. him. Oh, Jesus. 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 Ain't no other name. No other name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, consume us, Father. Do you? Do you, Rashad? Do you long for him? The one that was impaled, do you? See, that's, that, that's see, right there. So when we say we long for him, David, then see, it can't just be speech. Not only the hearers, but the doers. Right? See, that's where, it's at. that's where you put your money at. Right, ain't it? You put your money at the doing. That's how you show forth your faithfulness. That's how you show forth that, you know what, I believe you was impelled for me. And I believe if I go forth in you that your blood is going to cover me everywhere I go. Everything I say. Everything I touch. No thing shall come nigh my dwelling. Do you hear me? I don't care what it looked like. You better quit seeing these things that is throwing you off by sight. But instead, activate with your faith. Because you know you're a doer. Because you know you're in that portion of that promise. See, that's what I mean. I know I'm in that portion. I received it. I kept going until I said, you know what? He talking about me. I I quit looking around at what everybody else is doing. And I started putting myself in there. What he was talking about. That's me he talking about. That blood is covering me. That's what it is. That's what it is, Elder Dunn. It ain't nothing else. It's that. I'm abiding in it, Pastor. This is it. Who thankful for that Passover lamb? Stand on up. Stand on up. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to keep standing up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Where they at, Father? Where they at, Father? It's somebody. It's somebody believing you right now. 
Hallelujah. They need it, Father. Hallelujah. Somebody need it right now. They need, they, they was waiting on it. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody called on you, y'all. Somebody called on your name. In the name of Jesus. Right now, Father, I bless your holy name, Father. I ask you, Father, to respond to your word, Father. Let it be not a thing, Father, that hold us in bondage right now, Father. We ask you, Father, to overflow in this life. We thank you, Jesus, that you are able, that you are willing, Father, that your blood has covered us. In the name of Jesus, Father, we unbind Brother Mitch right now, Father, to any wicked thing, Father. We loose, Father, all wicked traps and schemes, Father, set against his life right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare, Father, it be well, Father, that it be done. In your name, Jesus. 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 We call on you, Jesus. We call on you, Jesus. We call on you, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Let it be well, Father. In his mind, in his heart right now, Father. We take away, Father, anything, Father, that's pressing against his mind, his thoughts, Father. Every psychic bondage is broken right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we command healing right now, Jesus. We command strength in the legs right now, Father. We command right now, Father. You loose your power in this vessel right now, Jesus. We command, Father, by your name, Jesus. By your blood, Jesus. Where you have been impaled, Father. Where we have followed the Lamb right now, Jesus. We follow your word, Father. We trust in you right now. And we command by your might and by your power, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for healing to be loosed in his body. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we command you to stand with power. We command you to stand with power. We command you to stand with power. We command you to stand with power, power, Jesus. Jesus! 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 Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! We command strength in our knees right now, Father. We command, Father, strength in our back. We command our back to be healed, Father. We command every spinal column to be healed right now. We command our hips to be aligned perfectly, Father, the way you designed her. In the name of Jesus. Father, we command your power to be loosed over this vessel. We deny any more access to Satan right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We command you to stand in the name of Jesus. We command you to be a doer in the name of Jesus. We loose the power and the glory right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Heal. Heal right now. You are healed in the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are healed. You will walk. You will not be hindered. You will walk in the name of Jesus. You will walk in the name of Jesus. You will tell the testimony of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will stand right now. In the name of Jesus. You will walk. You will walk in the name of Jesus. I also have gallstones. Right now, Father, we cast out every gallstone, Father. Father, where she has been filled with gallstones, Father. We remove it right now. 
supernaturally by your spirit, Father. By your power, Father, we cast out the spirit of infirmity right now. In the name of Jesus, we cast out, Father, generational gallstone. Father, we break, cut, and sever ties to all generational curses associated, Father, with gallstone. We free your children, Father. We plead the blood of Jesus. We stand here before you, Father, as witnesses to your word, Jesus. We know your word, Father. We believe you at your word. We trust fully in you, Father. We command right now. We command you to walk in the name of Jesus. We command you to walk. We command activation in every muscle, every joint, Father. We command synaptic information, Father, to be transferred. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Move right now in the name of Jesus. Move right now in the name of Jesus. Move right now in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. We are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. We are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. We are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory right now, Father. Come on. In the name of Jesus. There you go. Activate that faith right now in the name of Jesus. You have been healed. You have been healed. In the name of Jesus. You've been healed by Jesus Christ. You've been healed by Jesus Christ. You move in the name of Jesus. Move now in the name of Jesus. Move now. Move now in the name of Jesus. Move now in the name of Jesus. Move now in the name of Jesus. Move now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. 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 Bubble Bosa. Bubble Bosa. Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, 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 oh Shama Mama Mosa. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we curse cancer right now. We curse it by the blood, Jesus. That same blood, Father, where you was crucified, 
where you was in pain, where you took away our infirmities, where you came for the bruised and the sick and the brokenhearted. We command healing right now. We cancel all assignments in the name of Jesus. We remove cancer from this body. We remove cancer out of his organs. We remove cancer from every limb, every body part, Father. We cancel that lie of Satan. We declare him free right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we curse cancer in his family line. And we cut it off from his family line. In the name of Jesus. We command by your power, Father, and by the blood of Jesus. For you have given us a promise through your blood. That if we believe, Father, whatever we ask, Father, we shall receive right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we are commanding holy angels. We command in holy ministering mighty angels, Father, to come, Father, be in the midst to lay hands. Father, as we command this cancer out of his body right now, Father, we command you free. You are healed in the name of Jesus. No more cancer can dwell in this body. We cancel that lie. We command every cell to be cancer free in his body. We command right now, Father, he has desired you, Father. He has desired your hand, your touch. We command your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, Father, we declare, Father, Every word that was spoken against him. Father, the report that was given concerning cancer. Father, we cancel it out in the name of Jesus. Father, we curse the report that came. And Father, we issue a new report in your name, Jesus. We issue the report of healing right now. We loose healing on earth in Brother Dominique's body as you loose it in heaven. Father, we bind up cancer. We bind up generational cancer, Father. We bind up, Father, all infirmity spirits, Father, associated with cancer in his body right now. And we command it out now in the name of Jesus. Cancer, you get out. You have no place here. We command you out, cancer. We command it all the way out. We command strength in his body. We command new blood in his body. We command supernatural new blood to flow in his body. Father, we command his words to be words of life. We command right now, Jesus, Jesus by your name, Father. Move cancer right now. Move, get out. Get out right now in the name of Jesus. Get out right now. We command you all the way out. By your stripes, Jesus Christ. Brother Dominique is healed in the name of Jesus. He is healed in your name, Jesus. He is healed in your name, Jesus. Father, he is cancer free, Father. Because you visit your children, Father. We are here worshiping you, Father. We are raising up a banner right now, Yahweh. In your name, Father. Your children is here, Father. To declare your works, Father. Here and to the ends of the earth, Father. We bless your holy name, Jesus. Jesus, we command healing right now, Father. We declare, Father, that today, Father, that he found out he had cancer, Father. We deny it. We loose him from that, Father. We loose him from that right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we pour out the blood. We plead the blood, Jesus. We plead the blood, Jesus. We plead your blood, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we come to serve you, Father. Father, we know, Father, that you are able and willing. So we activate your word, Father. And we command cancer to leave this body now in the name of Jesus. Out. 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 Get out, Satan. All the way out. The spirit of cancer. The spirit of infirmity. We cancel your assignment. We render ourselves free and clear of all your assignments against Brother Dominique Life. We no longer are under legal ground. We break the legal ground. We denounce it right now in the name of Jesus. And we command, Father, by your word, by the blood, that we are healed, Jesus. That we are healed, Father. You have come and healed us today. You healed us, Father, of the lie. Father, we are free from the curse of the law. Father, we are free from sin. We go and sin no more. And you have healed us, Father. We have repented of our sins. We have freely forgiven in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. We believe you, Yahweh. We believe you have touched us. We believe you have visited your children. Father, you have come to us to give us freedom, Father, from the bondage of disease, Father. Your word says, Father, you have given us power to heal all manners of sickness and all manners of disease. We are healed, Jesus. We are healed, Jesus. We are healed in your name. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Be free of sin. Be free of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 After the vaccines. Hallelujah. Vaccines. Hallelujah. Right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, saints, we come. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we come, Father, to reclaim this life, Father, to reclaim his mind, Father. We command that his body be set free of all vaccines, Father, of all the poisons, Father, that's flowing through his blood. Father, we cleanse out every unclean thing, Father, that's flowing through his blood, Father, that's not of you. Father, we loose him of this bondage of autism right now, Father. We cast it out, Father. By the mighty name of Jesus. We cast it out, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we remove this in your name. Father, we set his mind free, Father. We command his mind to be restored. We command normal function, Father. We command, Father, that everything, Father, that you have designed and created him for be restored, Father. You have purposed him long before he was born, Father. And we block the assignment of Satan right now. We curse Satan. We curse the vaccines, Father, that's flowing through his blood. We command that the spirit of infirmity, Father, associated with autism, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus, come out right now. We cast out autism. We cast out every sin, Father. Every sin associated, Father, with the curse of the law, Father. We cast it out. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over his life. We loose the blood, Father, that heals and renews. The blood, Father, that causes us, Father, to be under your protection, Father. We loose your blood right now, Father. We command right now that all autism come out of this body. Come out in the name of Jesus. You will be normal. You will respond to the name of Jesus. You will respond to the word of truth. You will respond to the love and the promise of Jesus Christ. We command healing right now. We command in the name of Jesus. We command in the name of Jesus that you be healed now in the name of Jesus come out come out infirmity right now come out autism come out of him you come out of him right now you come out of this child right now you loose him we break off every curse on this family line right now in the name of Jesus we command new blood we command new blood in your name Jesus we command father Father, we remind you, Father, of your word. Wrote in, it, wrote in the law and the prophets, Father. What we do receive, Father, within our hearts and our minds. And we activate it, Father. You have given us truth, Father, that Jesus have come, Father, to heal us, to set the captives free, Father. No more bondage right now. We cancel all bondage to autism. Father, we deny it anymore, Father, power to dwell and operate in this body. We destroy the assignment and the contract from Satan in the name of Jesus. Father, today, Father, that poison entered into his blood, Father. We destroy and we curse it right now in the name of Jesus. We set him free right now. We set him free, Father, according to your word, according to the blood of Jesus. We set him free, Jesus. We set him free right now in the name of Jesus. You are free right now. Come off his life. Come out. Come out. 
Come out. That's right. You come out of him right now. In the name of Jesus. He is free in the name of Jesus. He is free in the name of Jesus. He is free. He is free to function freely in Jesus. He is free to function normal. He is free to call on the name of Jesus. He is free to call on the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Jesus. 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 Right now, Father, we counsel this assignment in the name of Jesus. Father, we call on your name. We cry out to you, Jesus. We cry out for your holy presence. Father, we bind up the works of the devil. And we bind up, Father, all legal ground that was given to operate in his life. Father, we no longer give Satan reign in his life any longer. But, Father, we do plead your blood. The blood that was poured out. The blood that was spilled. Father, we do command that this autism that have been activated in his life, Father, be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. We send you out. We send you wherever Jesus wants you to go. We remove you right now from this vessel. This is no longer a dwelling place for you. This is not your home. We cast you out. This is not your home. We cast you out, Satan. This is not your home. We cast you out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are free. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. Healing right now. Healing right now, Jesus. Father, we loose healing on earth as you loose it in heaven. Father, we cast out. Father, and we bind up, Father, the works of the enemy that's operating in his life right now. We command, Father. That you loose healing, Father, in a great capacity in his life right now. Move out. Move out, Satan. You and all your army. You and all your demons. You can no longer dwell here. You have no place here. We plead the name of Jesus over this young life. Father, we command restoration. Father, we command full restoration. Full healing. Father, full, Father the full healing, Father, the Holy Spirit. Be upon him right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Father, I ask you right now to continue to work, Father. The work that you orchestrated, Father. We ask you to complete in him right now. In the name of Jesus. We ask you, Father, to make him completely, Father. Past seven, Father. Past six, Father, in normalization, Father. We ask, Father, that you do it now in the name of Jesus. Do it. Now heal. Heal. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I hate you, Satan. I hate you, Satan. And I war against you. And I plead the blood against you right now. I plead the blood against this assignment, against his life. And we command you to be healed in the name of Jesus. We command full healing and restoration in the name of Jesus. Full restoration in the name of Jesus. Now, Jesus. Now, Jesus. Now, Jesus. Now, Jesus. Now, Jesus. Right now. Right now, Jesus. You no longer have autism. You no longer operate in that spirit. You no longer operate in that spirit. You are free from the bondage of Satan. Jesus has set you free. Jesus has set you free. Jesus has set you free. Do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Jesus has set you free. Do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus, for the freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love, Jesus. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to touch somebody next to you. I want you to grab somebody's hand. I want you to grab somebody's hand. We all going to be healed. We got to believe what we heard. Do we truly believe? Have you seen him today? Have we seen him move? Right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we command healing and restoration. Father, we come as mighty men. We come, Father, as your daughters of Zion. We come as your people, Father. Bombarding heaven, Father. We're opening up the windows, Father. We're asking you, Father. We are commanding, Father, by your word, Father. Not by our might. Not by our strength. But by your spirit. Today, Father, let you visit your children. We command healing. Jesus, we command right now that you restore us, Father. You restore our bodies. You restore our minds. Father, we command healing, Father. Over this leg right now, Jesus. We command every bone to be restored, to be in place. We command that the bondage of Satan over our thoughts, Father. We cast out doubt. We cast out fear right now. In the name of Jesus. We cast out lying tongues. In the name of Jesus. We cast out, Father, all fear. In the name of Jesus. We cast out rebellion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Heal us today, Father. We command healing, Father. We activate your word. We activate the blood in our bodies, Father. Every report we do cancel right now. In the name of Jesus. We take back our blood from Satan. We restore the blood in our bodies. Father, we command new blood. We command new cells. Father, we command new bone structure. Father, we command, we command Father, our posture be realigned. We command, Father, that our minds believe it. We command that we speak it out of our mouths. Father, we command, Father, that we stand firmly on your promise. And as we open up our mouth and say that we are healed, Father, we command that it be so in the name of Jesus. We are healed right now in the name of Jesus. We are healed right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we go forth because you have healed us. Father, we claim it because you have done it in your promise. Father, we activate your promise in our life. We activate it, Father, because we forgive all those who we hold unforgiveness. We activate our healing, Father, because we ask you to forgive us. We activate our healing, Father, because we come forth, Father, to confess our sins where we have sinned against you. And now, Father, we receive the healing that you have already given when you sacrificed your lamb, when you have provided a lamb for yourself. We was healed, Father. When you provided yourself for with a lamb, Father, we was born, Father. We were made, Father. Father, our, our bodies was restored. Father, we stood on a promise, Father, before sin entered in. So we declare ourselves free from sin right now. We declare ourselves free from sin. In the name of Jesus, we cast out, Father, every curse 
of the law, Father, where we have sinned against you. We cast out every curse from our family line in the name of Jesus. We cast out the curses of our forefathers in the name of Jesus. Father, we cast out that curse of our grandfather where he has sinned against you. Where, Father, he has been involved in witchcraft. We have been involved, Father, with adultery, Father. We have been involved, Father, with blasphemy, Father. We cancel that assignment against our generation. Right now, in the name of Jesus. We are healed and free right now, Jesus. We are healed right now, Jesus. We are healed right now, Jesus. We are healed, Jesus. We are healed. We are healed, Jesus. We are healed, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you for visiting us, Father. We thank you for healing our bodies. Oh, Father, we plead a mighty and a firm healing over Mother Beasley right now. I lift up her name right now. I lift up her name in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Father. While you are simultaneously healing us, Father, we ask you to do something special in a body, in a mind, Father. Father, you show her, Father, even in this day, Father, you visit her, Jesus. Let your word be activated in her body, Father. The word that she holds so firmly on, Father, showing up before you, Father. Every feast, Father, showing up before you, Father, to show forth faithfulness, Father, in the name of Jesus. Heal right now in the name of Jesus. Heal in the name of Jesus. Heal in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. 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 Right now, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Let it be, Father, that you fill her cup right now, Father. You fill her cup, Father. Let her well not run dry, Father. Because you said, Father, you said... If it be any that thirst, Father, we loose it right now, Father. We loose your living water, Father. That she never thirst, Father. That she never thirst again, Father. Let it be filled with healing, Father. Let it be filled with restoration, Father. Let it be filled, Father, with your word being confirmed in her. Right now, Jesus. Oh, Father, we plead the blood. The blood right now. We activate, Father, firmly. The blood of Jesus all over her body right now. Let it be, Father. Let it be right now, Father, that her kidneys be restored in the name of Jesus. Let her kidneys be restored powerfully and mightily, Jesus. Jesus. Father, we ask you to touch her kidneys, Father. Let it be guarded by your hand, by your blood, Jesus. Let it be, Father, that her mind, Father, be firmly secured in you, Jesus. Knowing, Father, that I lift up, Father, all things to you, Jesus. Because by your might, Father, you have strengthened us, Father. By your word, you have fed us, Jesus. And we do believe it. We want you, Jesus. We need your power, Jesus. We receive no more the lie of Satan, Father. We close the door to Satan right now, Jesus. We want you in our life, Jesus, so that we tell others. We want you because your word said it, Jesus. If we only desired you. Father, we come desiring right now. We are expecting, Father, that Mother Beasley be restored right now, this hour. In the name of Jesus, that you feel her, Father. Every past injury, Father, we cast down in the name of Jesus. Every bone that was injured, we restore and we multiply the blessings right now. Father, and we apply your healing, Father, 10 and 20 fold right now. In the name of Jesus. Remember your daughter, Jesus, in her time of belief. In her time of faith, in her time of calling on the precious name of Jesus, whom was sacrificed on our accord, Father. On behalf of us sinning, Father, 
and being alienated from you, Father. You brought us back that we may call on your name, that we may loose the blood, that we may be fully, Father, restored in our day, Father, of visitation, Father. We ask you to come, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love her, Father. I love your mother that you have given us, Father, who is so precious. Let your love, Father, your gift, Father, let it be activated right now, Father. You have given us healing. You have given it to us, Jesus. We receive it right now. With open arms, Father, we receive it, Father. Pour it out, Father, where she can't hardly receive it. Let it run it over, Father, right now. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Oh, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your flow, Father. Thank you, Father, for your touch. Thank you for your hands, Jesus. Thank you for your power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You are faithful, Father. And we do thank you, Father. For everything you've done to our precious mother today, Father. Every place, Father, that you have fulfilled. Knowing in the dark hours, Father, where she seek you, Father, where she just asks. Where she think on you, Father. We ask, Father, that it be given unto her. Right now, Father, in your name, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Mother. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we command by your name, Father, all deep-rooted wickedness, Father, all self-pride, Father, all conniving spirits, Father, that was sown and rooted in his family line, Father. All of these things, Father, that have been sown in this family line, Father, by generations. We come, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We come, Father, with mighty ones, Father. And we come, Father, with the authority and the power that you give. Seated in the third heaven, Father, we come to you because you have deemed us, Father, yours. And because, Father, we operate in you, because we are redeemed by you, Father, we break this captivity right now in the name of Jesus. We cast out, Father, all spirits, Father, associated with, Father, being, Father, in a conniving, in a lying spirit, Father, any spirit, Father, that's not of you, Father, any self-worship, we destroy, Father. We destroy pride, Father out of his life completely father never to return we command you by the power and the blood of Jesus that you come out of him you come all the way out and you have no more dwelling place in him right now in the name of Jesus we command you all the way out we command that you set this man free for Jesus have been impelled his life was given that we might be set free that we gain life. Right now, Father, we receive full life. We receive it in your name, Jesus. We command, Father, that every spirit that's operating contrary to you, 
You come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. You come all the way out. Father, we command, Father, that his heart no longer be bound up. That he have no more pity on himself, Father. That he have no more self-condemnation, Father. We cast out all condemning spirits. Where you seek to be raised up by men. But, Father, right now, Father, I'm asking you, Father, to come, Father, strongly and swiftly, Father, where he shall bow to you, Jesus. You are the master. Where he submit and surrender all unto you, Father, that he may be changed, Father, by the indwelling and the filling of your Holy Spirit, Father. We ask you right now, Jesus, let him no longer, Father, be in bondage to these things, Father, where, Father, he daily think on, Father, he daily, Father, be Father, held captive to these lies that are being submitted, deceiving him, Father, deceiving his mind, Father, him having this self-talk with himself, Father. We shut off the voice of Satan. We shut off these voices in his head, Father, that are condemning him, that is causing him, Father, to seek the worship from men, Father. Let him continue, Father, to have these things cut away. That he surrender all, Father. That he surrender to you, Jesus. That the blood, Father, be completely lodged, Father. That he be completely under your cover. In the name of Jesus, Father. We declare this man free. We declare the freedom of Jesus. Let him be baptized in the same baptism where Jesus have died, Father. Where we all have died, Father. Father, we command these things, Father, that are bondage. That are strongholds, Father, to be no more. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Father, we set him free. Oh, hallelujah. Father, let his deliverance be full. Let it be final, Father. Let it be in his heart, Father, that he truly desired. Oh, hallelujah, Father. Let, the, let his words, Father, no more be cunning. Let his words, Father, be no more, Father, in a deceptive way, Father. But let his words be clean before you and before the brethren, Father. Let his word be firm, Father. Let him be about all, Father, that he say. Let him no longer, Father, give a word. And, Father, that word fall to the ground. But let him stand firm. Let him become a man today, Father. Let him be a man in your sight, Father. Let him be a man according to your standard. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we break it, Father. We break the habits of his dad off his life, Father. We separate him from generational curses, Father. A slothfulness, Father. We break that generational slothfulness right now. In the name of Jesus. We activate, Father, life in your name, Jesus. Father, we cast this spirit far away from him, Father. All slothfulness, we are commanding you to no longer have legal ground. No more legal contract to operate in his life. We cut and sever that tie in the name of Jesus. And by the blood of Jesus, we command strength. We command commandment keeping. We command, Father, your word, Father, to dwell deeply in him, Father. By his desire, Father, let it be, Father, multiplied and strengthened into this man. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it be so this day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need really big healing in my below back, sir. And I would like to know if you would be willing to pray for my two boys, the younger ones. Um, there have been a, I've adopted them from my my daughter, and I just been, I think they really need prayer. Yes, sir. Yep. Is that okay, sir? Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. Right, I want you to look me in my eyes. Yes, sir. Do you believe Jesus? Yes, sir, I do. Did you see him? Yes, I did. Are you going to follow him? Yes, I am. Do you sir. trust him? I absolutely do. Yes, I do, sir. Yes, I do. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Your back is healed. The pain is cast out oh, by Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has come to visit you today. In the name of Jesus. Father, we receive all from you, Father. We trust in you safely, Jesus. We trust in you, Father. 
We trust in you, Yahweh. Oh, we thank you, Father, that you was willing and able to come and see about your children. We unbind her to that pain. Father, I set my hands, Father, that you may, that you may, Father, receive your glory today, Jesus. Be lifted up, Jesus. Be exalted, Jesus. Be glorified by Israel, Father. Because your presence, Father, your visitation, your word, Jesus. Your word, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, I just thank you, Father. You have given us a shepherd, Father, that have preached healing to us. We thank you. I ask you to bless Pastor Dow, Father. Touch our pastor, Jesus. You continue to strengthen him, Jesus. He will preach your name, Jesus. We was able to see, Father, that we share in the blessing, Father, that we share in the healing, Father, that we share in the power, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You are healed. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. By your might, you have strengthened us, Jesus. Oh, you fed us today, Jesus. You fed us today, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Where Mother Jennifer at? Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Where Mother Jennifer? Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Who Jesus? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is well with you. It is done. In the name of Jesus. You unbind her right now, Satan. You will not torment. You will not torment her anymore. In the name of Jesus. We lift her up right now, Jesus. We plead your blood, Jesus. We respond to your word, Jesus. When you lift it up in the spirit, Father. Let us all lift holy hands. Father, I come right now commanding. With the holy angels. Father, that you restore. That you touch. That you, Father, impound, Father. That, Father, you give us, Father, the desires. Right now, Father, that you fill us up. That you overflow right now. Father, that you cause us, Father. When we come to you, Jesus. When we come to you, Jesus. When we loose the blood. When we come by the blood, Father. That we be healed. By your name and by your power, Jesus. You loose her right now, Satan. You unbind her right now. You have not done anything. You have not been cursed. But by your faith, by your prayers, by your receiving, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we command right now that you restore, Father, every portion every portion father make it brand new father in your name let it be greater father in your name let it be father that she lift up her hands father and see father that you look her in her eyes that you have come to your daughter father in the name of Jesus oh Jesus
great portion, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Oh, Ubasha Ibabusha Thank you Jesus Thank you for healing her right now Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus By you Jesus By you Jesus By you Jesus by you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Uncircumcised right now, Father. Uncircumcised. Father, we command that you circumcise. Uncircumcise. We command that you circumcise now. Father, you loose him of the heavy burden. You loose him, Father, the heaviness, the weight that he's carrying around, Father. Let him know, Father, he's walking in your freedom, Jesus. Hallelujah. You have made us free by your blood, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Father, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, I just ask you right now, Father, to let Brother Darrell, Father, no longer be stricken, Father, by any emotions that's coming against his mind, Father, deeming him unworthy. Deeming him, Father, in a position, Father, to be at fault at anything, Father. Let it be, Father, that your blood has covered him. Your blood has restored, Brother Darrell. Oh, hallelujah, Father. Let him walk free, Father. Let him have this load removed, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Father. Let your shalom be over our brother. Let him, Father, be surrounded with your love, Father, your compassion. Let it be, Father, that you. your love consumes him. Thank Give you. unto him, Father, Thank you. for he desires to be restored in this season, Father. He desires to be restored greatly, Father. <coughs> Hear him at night, Father, when he asks you why, Father. Let him know, Father, to be at peace. That you have already moved. You have already considered oh, you your servant in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We receive you right now, Jesus. Thank you. And all Thank is well. You. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. 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 Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just coming to you, Father, enjoying you. Enjoying this time, Father. 
before we go back into the world and be tormented. We just ask you to build us up, Father. I ask you, Father, to build us up greatly. Let us be in your presence. Because we come together, Father, to believe in you together, to receive you together, to activate the blood together. And in this season, Father, where we have come together to remember when you brought our brothers and sisters out of Mitzrayim, Father, we activate the blood that you have for us in this day, Father. Father, we pour out the blood of the Lamb. We command restoration over this leg, Jesus. We command, Father, that all the healing, Father, that you have already done, let it be loosed right now, Father. Let it be loosed in her belief. Let it be loosed, Father, in her words. Let it be loosed, Father, because you have promised. We command in the name of Jesus. We command in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. We command, Father, whatever nerve that have been injured, Father, whatever nerve have, Father, received any type of blow or obstruction, any type of trauma, we cancel it out in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We command her foot to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. We remove all injuries in the name of Jesus. We command swelling to go down in your name, Jesus. We command restoration in the name of Jesus. We command you right now to respond to the word that you preach to us today, Jesus. That we do do it, that we do believe it. And we stand on it right now, Father. We command a great healing right now, Father. We command every bone, Father, every ligament, every tendon, Father, to be completely restored right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Father. We thank you, Father, that you are worthy. We thank you right now, Jesus, that you have done this, Father, today that we had a chance to see you move on our behalf, Father. Well, you could have chose, Father, another people, but you have already chose us. You said healing is the children's bread, Father. So we receive it, Father. We receive it, Father, tenfold right now, Jesus. We receive, Father, that we are able to move this foot. We are able to stand, Father. We are able, Father, to abide in what you have already given. In the name of Jesus, we command this foot to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we command it, Father. Father, heal this ankle, Father. We command all swelling in this ankle, Father, to dissipate. Right now, we push it out. We push it out in the name of Jesus. We cast it out, Father. We also cast out doubt. We cast that lie out of her mind, Father. We cast out, Father, any seed that was planted, Father. We remove all stage play, Father, that Satan want to lie, Father. He want her to respond to his word, Father, but we cancel it. And we move, Father, according to your word, Father. You said, by your stripes, by your stripes, Jesus, by your stripes, Jesus, we are healed, Father. Healing right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we lose healing on earth as you loose it in heaven, Father. We bind up trauma, swelling, Father. We bind up, Father, all, Father, joints that are injured, all tendons that are injured, Father. We bind it up on earth. As you bind it up in, hell, uh, in heaven, Father. And we thank you for all that you have done, Jesus. All that you have done, Jesus. Heal right now. Healing in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that this swelling is going down, Father. I thank you, Father, that the discoloration, Father, is being restored right now. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, that she is able, Father, to use this foot. In the name of Jesus, Father, restore every bone in her, in her ankle right now. In the name of Jesus, restore it right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you that we are your children, that you didn't forget about us. Thank you that you have kept us in your covenant, Father. Thank you that you honored our forefathers by coming to see about us. Because if it wasn't for your healing, Father, we would be lost, Father. We would be bruised, Father. We would be without, Father, the true and living in our lives, Father. But you chose us. And we receive you in the entirety, Father, of your healing, of your word, your, your hand, Father, have been laid on us today, Father. And we are restored. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all listen to me, saints. Y'all listen to me. In the name of Jesus. Where you at, Pastor? Pastor, I truly thank you. As I saw the real Jesus, when I heard your words, and I'm looking at every year how many people are hearing it. They're coming. They're coming. And they're getting a the chance to meet the real Jesus. They're getting a the chance to hear about the real Jesus. We blessed behind it. His children are coming for healing. Y'all lift your hands up. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your visitation. We thank you that you have come to be in the midst. There were those truly looking after, seeking you, Father, because your word says your eyes is upon the earth. It searches the earth daily, seeking after those who are seeking after you. Father, we thank you that you didn't look over us. You didn't look past us today, Father, that we was able to experience you today, Father. We was able to have joy in our hearts. We was able to lift up your son, seeing, Father, that he was crucified, seeing that, Father, we have been in bondage, seeing, Father, that we needed you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We just ask right now, Father, all those, Father, knowing, Father, that they are looking for that visitation. Father, we ask, Father, that you open up our hearts, Father, and let us truly receive, Father. Some of us have been healed already. Some of us, Father, in your name, Jesus, in your name, Jesus. In your name, Jesus. We have already, Father, received your report. And we are able, Father, to share the good news of the gospel of the kingdom. Let us, Father, as we depart into our own ways, Father, into our own cities, let us preach Jesus. Let us tell of what we saw and what we heard, Father. That many come running. Just as in the day, Father, when you raised Lazarus, Father. Just as in the day, Father, when you restored sight to the blind. And you sent them into the city. Let it be also in this day, Father, that we lift you up. You are the mighty master soon to return, Jesus. Soon, Father, to restore the kingdom to Israel. Jesus! You are coming, Jesus, with all power in your hand, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Let us, Father, be smart enough, Father, to occupy till you come. Let us continue, Father, to be able to hear the words of our shepherd, Father, as he have labored, Father, many years, Father, in the name of Jesus. Drawing many sheep because of the testimonies, Father. We bless you today greatly. 
I ask you, Father, to allow us, Father, to have your mighty hedge around us as we travel home, Father. Let none perish. We bind up the spirit of injury, harm, and death. Oh, hallelujah, Father. That we are able, Father, to do this in remembrance of you, Father, as often as we can, Father. Knowing, Father, that your day of visitation, your day of gathering in the harvest that shall be ripe, shall be upon us, Father. We bless you and we thank you. Let us all greet one another, Father, with a hug, Father, and the brothers with a holy kiss, Father, knowing that we have been here once again in your presence. Father, I ask you to watch over the elders. Watch over the deacons and all those who lead communities, all those who lead houses, Father. And Father, most of all, Father, I ask you to watch over those who mother in the homes, Father, who continue the seed of Israel, who watch over, Father, the homes of those whom you have ordained to lead houses. Father, we bless you greatly. We thank you, Father, that we are able to receive from your hand. So much today, Father. Let us rejoice and be glad in this. We thank you, mighty master, in all things. Let Israel say, Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Go on, hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah.